So today's video is going to be a very quick demonstration of a formula I wrote that will help you get your max bids when the cell is blank inside of a bulk file. So first off, I'm going to go and demonstrate the issue and um, what it is that we're doing the formula to fix. I'm gonna demonstrate the formula, I'm gonna show you how it fixed it, and then I'm gonna go really quickly on um, how you can quickly use this formula because this is going to, to give you, oh goodness, it's probably gonna take you about two minutes to find your blank um, bid values inside of the bulk file. So this is not a full demonstration on a bulk file. This is going to be assuming that you know what a bulk file is and assuming that you are adjusting bids using a bulk file. If you are interested in learning more about bulk files in depth, I suggest you go check out the other videos on this channel. This is simply my gift to you. Um, I like finding formula workarounds for things. If I can do it faster using a formula, you bet you I'm going to figure out what that formula is and uh, make it myself. So my gift to you, here's a formula, let's dive into it. All right, I have a bulk file that I have some of the data chains for client confidentiality, of course, and I'm going to go to my sponsored product campaigns and I'm going to look at my max bid column. So I'm going to first demonstrate for you um, the issue you can have when looking at a bulk file and trying to make bid adjustments because you should be going off your max bid column because that's what your bids are set at. You want to make adjustments to those. You may run across the issue where the uh, cell is blank, so you have no idea what the bid is set at. And I'm going to show you where those are. So I'm sorting um, keyword and product targeting to bring um, isolate all of my targets. I'm going to go to my max bid column. I'm going to clear and set blanks, as well as if my match type is set to negative. Um, I'm not going to show any max bids here. And that's just because you don't bid on negative um keywords so i'm going to clear these i'm just gonna find all of these and click clear and here we go so what i have now is all of my keyword and product targets that are showing blank in the max bid column and this is an issue because for instance if some of these weren't performing well or some of these don't have any impressions now these obviously the campaign status is paused, so these are all paused. But if I wanted to unpause this and maybe I want to up my bids, I have no idea what my bids currently are set at, and that creates an issue. So, what you need to do is you need to find these bids. So, where are they located? Well, anything that is showing blank in your max bid column, the reason is, is this particular bid is set, um, is equivalent to the bid that is set at the ad group level. So whatever my bid is at the ad group level, that's what my, my, what my max bid is here kind of a pain to find. So if you wanted to manually go find this, what you would do is you would look at your ad group name, say, okay, it's an ad group name, ad group name. Of course, this isn't the real ad group name. You want a much cleaner naming structure. And this is in campaign four. So what I would do, I would go to my record type and I would clear and I would look at my ad group. And then I would go see my match types to select all these and select all these to clear my filters and then i would look for um, my campaign name for and then i would look for my ad group name and then find okay what is the bit and of course these were changed so here i'm showing a dollar 11 and 20 cents um i just kind of change these arbitrarily which is why you're seeing like that discrepancy here um these should these would have to have different names when I'm creating the file, you wouldn't have the exact same ad group name. But of course, it's changed here. And so what I would do is I would find, okay, it's campaign four, it's ad group name, say it was this one, my bit's 20 cents. So then I could go back, find it, input. Um, you could create duplicates of this particular tab and then go back and forth. That's a whole thing. <laughs> so an easier way to do this, there are, um, there is an index and match formula that is um, pretty fast. It's a lot faster way to do this. But I wrote a particular formula which allows um, it will cross check, it will input everything, and then you can simply copy and paste that entire column into your max bid column. Done. All right, let's go through the formula now. 
So what you need to do, you need to make sure that the extra column we're going to create is exactly where I show you for this formula to work. The reason being is it's referencing specific um, cells and columns and we need to make sure we're inputting it correctly. Providing you create the column in the correct place and you uh, start the formula in the correct cell and row, everything should work perfectly. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to our max bid column and we're going to right click. We're going to uh, insert a column to the right. So we're going to insert a column to the right of our max bid column. Done, done. And then we need to grab our formula. So this is my formula here. This will be in the description box below. So you can copy and paste this yourself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to control C copy. I'm going to go to cell L and we need to start in row two. So I need to make sure I'm starting in row L2. I'm going to control V, paste, enter. Now it's going to be blank. Don't freak out. It's supposed to be blank. <laughs> so what we're going to do, um, you do want to make sure you click into the cell to make sure that it is correct. And the other thing you do want to cross reference is make sure that um, match type is under column O. That will tell you that you've um, created this new column in the correct place. So we're going to make sure match type is column O because that's one of the um, columns it's going to cross reference. And then what we're going to do is we are going to copy this down. Now there's two ways to do it. One, you can just get this little um, plus and drag it down. The faster way to do it is to go to this little plus and double click and that should copy the formula down. All right, so this one popped up. So what this does is it actually cross references. If there's any value in the max bid column, it's going to copy that one over. Now I could have written this formula so it only references any of the blank cells that need to be filled, but I chose to do it this way because it's going to make it a lot easier to simply copy and paste over. So now I'm gonna kind of demonstrate how this worked, but just know um, you could proceed to the last step I'm going to show you. I just wanna demonstrate this. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and find those cells that were previously blank and show how the formula found those values. So I'm gonna sort keyword, product targeting, record type. I'm going to go to my max bid column. I'm going to select my blanks and then I'm gonna get rid of any of my negatives. Because again, those ones do not, and I'm in my way. They're gonna move me. All right, let's move me out of the way. Get rid of all of our negatives. So notice all of these that are previously blank. This formula is cross-referencing. Now it's checking the campaign and the ad group name just to make sure. Um, sometimes you end up, you shouldn't have any ad groups that are duplicate names, but sometimes that happens just in case we're cross-referencing the campaign as well as the ad group. But notice all my bids here. All is done, super awesome. And uh, just to show that it did get those. The other thing that you can cross check is if there's any values, these should be equal. So it's cross referencing if there's any values and it's simply pulling them over. If there's anything that's blank, it's doing that cross check and then inputting those formulas. All right. So let's go back up and show you the very last step. Um, when you go and use this formula, what you would do. So I need to make sure that all of my filters are gone and they are. So what I'm going to do because, um, I need to copy and paste this over and there's a special way you need to do that to make sure that you're not transferring the formula over as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cell L2. I'm going to click into it and I'm going to hold shift control down arrow and this is going to highlight all of that data in the cell. I'm going to hit control C to copy. Might take a second depending on how many values you have and actually an easy way to get to the top is if you hit control up arrow and then go down one more, it'll take you to the very top. And then we need to paste this data into here because this is the column that contains all of all of the bids, including those cells that were previously blank. 
So we need to paste that here. But if I just um, control V pasted, what's going to happen is it's going to copy over these formulas as well. And that's the reason why this formula is written to have blank cells. So we can paste this over and it's not going to create any errors for us. And it's only going to paste over the bids where we need them. So you don't end up with a messy file. All right, what you need to do is we're going to use a special paste method, which is paste values only. So um, I'm in Google Sheets, which has a shortcut for this method, which is super amazing. And I use it often. So if you go right click, I click paste special, make sure you're pasting starting in cell K2. So you want to make sure you're starting on row two because we started at L2 when we copied. So we're going to go K2 when we paste. So we're going to go paste special, paste values only. And notice there's the shortcut in Google Sheets with just control shift B. If you want to use that, you can. Otherwise, paste values only. And that's going to paste our values only. So if you want to scroll down again, make sure that all of these values, they should be exactly the same. If you started in the wrong cell, what's going to happen is these are going to be off. You know, you might have the 41 here and then the 41 starts here. So if you see that, um, know that you just pasted it incorrectly. So you would just undo and then go back and paste it correctly. But it looks like all is well. So now what I can do is I can um, highlight this cell that we had created, which is cell L, and I can delete this column. And then I end up with a max bid column that has all of my current bids as well as any bid cells that were previously blank. They should be filled using the new formula. So hopefully this was helpful. If you've been trying to find a workaround for this issue or doing it another way, this should be a lot faster. So you can go in here, create your extra column, paste it down, copy, paste over, boom, done. Should take you two, three minutes if you get used to it. So hopefully it's been helpful. And remember, uh, I highly suggest you like and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in finding more hacks with like this one. So.